I'm concerned that people today don't know who God is. They do not know God because they've rejected Jesus Christ the Son and they stand condemned. Do you think that's respectful of other religions? Senator, I'm a Christian. The message of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing. You know, people say, like, when did you lose your faith? I'm like, it started 15 minutes after I accepted Jesus Christ as my personal Lord and Savior. Immediately encountered stuff in Scripture that I was like, that makes no sense to me. It's a generation of people who were not taught Scripture, and so they were pretty quick to throw it out. Christ died for our sins. How does that work exactly? Like, by what cosmic mechanism does the death of Jesus take care of your personal sins? Jesus was volunteering to drink the cup of God's wrath. That turns God into some kind of like divine child abuser. Does God really love me or has he simply been paid off? The Bible is so helpful to us if we just read it, you know. We're going to read things that offend our sensibilities. Did God kill Jesus? Yes. I don't think God killed Jesus. You cannot read the Gospels and think that. And how could that ever be good news? And this is the dilemma of the American pulpit. We've got a God of wrath versus a God of love. And I was watching a lot of my friends reject the Christianity they grew up with. If there is any other way to get around a fiery, eternal pit, why would we not be open to that idea? This creates a basis for what I'd call a natural religion and a universal religion. Like, why would you want to worship a God if you could imagine a better God? We are saved from God himself. That's not the God I worship. That's not the God of the Bible. When I survey the wondrous cross, this is the doctrine of Christianity. This is the doctrine that separates Christianity from every other religion in the world. Did Jesus go to the cross unwillingly? No.